Hi, yes I am. Hi, I'm Abigail. Nice, nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Come on in. Okay, great. All Thank right. you. Uh -huh. So Juliana, can I take your pulses? Yes. All right. So when we take your pulse in Chinese medicine, we're actually doing both sides because in Chinese medicine, there's three different positions on each side with three different depths. Mm -hmm. So there's actually nine different positions that we're feeling on each pulse. And what they do is they reflect like right now I'm feeling how energy is flowing through the lung channel in your body. And next position, I'm feeling how the energy is flowing through your spleen channel, which correlates with digestion, among other things. And then I'm palpating the final position, which indicates how energy is flowing through the kidney channel. And then there's gonna be different um, correlations on the other side. So, Right now what I'm noticing is that the spleen pulse is a little slippery. Okay, so let's feel the other side. So on this side, what I'm noticing is that the pulse is a little bit what we call wiry. And that is kind of like a tight guitar string that you pluck. So usually that indicates that there's some stress um, or it could be pain in the body where the energy is just not flowing as smoothly as it could be. Okay, great, thanks. So next I'm gonna look at your tongue. Okay, so your tongue is a little bit pale and a little bit of scalloped marks. So how's your energy been? It's a little bit low. A little bit low. So that's what that correlates with, a little bit of what we call chi deficiency. Energy is on the low side. Okay, so next what we're going to do is, if it's okay with you, palpate your abdomen. Mm -hmm. So what we just did is Chinese style. What I'm going to do now is what we call Japanese. It comes from Japan. It's more Japanese style. Okay, so what um, I'm looking for is any tenderness. So let me know if you feel any tenderness anywhere or if one side feels a little bit different than the other. So we're going to start over here. A little, bit, a little bit over there, okay. So this correlates with that wiry pulse in the liver position. Even though your liver's over here, how the blood flow goes and works, you're gonna actually feel some stuckness over here. A little bit there. Okay, so this is more the immune system. So every area of the abdomen correlates with something uh, going on physiologically. So these positions I just checked are the adrenals and those were fine, so that's great. Um, but we need to m help with the liver energy and help with the immune system a little bit. And up in here is blood sugar and that seems fine and here's spleen. And then we move up here and this indicates stress. So, good, thank you. And then down here is the reproductive system. That's actually all okay. Okay, beautiful, good. All right. So then the next step is we're gonna palpate your hands and we're gonna check what we call fire Ooh, points. Yeah. Is that tender? Oh, yeah. Okay, so that one is the heart protector. So that's an indicator of stress. Mm among other things, but stress will be one of the main things. Maybe sleep. Um, yeah, sleep spin off. Okay, and let's check this side. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You ready for some acupuncture? Absolutely. Okay, yeah. good. To demonstrate, so these acupuncture needles are all disposable, and some people uh, who are afraid of needles have only had uh, hypodermic needles, but the difference between acupuncture needles and hypodermic needles is that the hypodermic ones are hollow and they're either putting something in or taking something out. But these needles are just like a thick elephant hair. They're very thin and they're not hollow. So they go in way more smoothly. So I'm gonna start with over here and see this may be tender as I press over oh, here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then as I press here, Oh, it's see if that helps. It does help. Yeah. Okay. That's great. So that means we're going to needle it. Your body says, I want this point. So here we're going to put a little guide tube there and then take a deep breath and tap. 
And there's that. How's that feel? Great. Good. Yeah. Just felt a little bit of pressure, but no pain. Great. Beautiful. I'm going to do some points up on the scalp that are helpful for stress, for sleep, for just all of the stressors of the modern day world. So this um, area up here helps the brain. This is uh, part of the Japanese style. And the Japanese style that we're doing is rooted in both the ancient Chinese classics and also modern science and physiology. Mm -hmm. so, so these points are really great for stress and research has shown because it also affects the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex that they happen to also be good for people with anxiety and depression. Oh, interesting. <laughs> and this should be a very relaxing treatment. Okay. Moxibustion is made out of mugwort um, or artemisia, which grows all over China, but it also grows around California. It's related to sage. And this form has been carbonized so that it doesn't produce as much smoke because it can get pretty smoky. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply some heat to this point, to, uh, which is near the Sea of Qi area, to um, increase your energy because heat is actually energy. So this is one way that we can actually add energy to your system. That feels good. Yeah, people love it. It's really nice. And just radiates a gentle warmth that penetrates. And this is something some people even do at home. So I'm gonna let you relax for about 20, 25 minutes and um, would you like a little heat on your feet? Sure. Okay. Great. How's that feel? Good. Okay. I'm also going to leave you with a bell in case you need me for anything. Okay. I'll hear that bell. Beautiful. So have a really good rest and you can sleep. You can just relax. You can meditate. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. So we're going to take your needles out. Okay. We cover some of the points up with cotton afterwards to close the point if we want to keep that energy that we put in in there. And then some of the points down like this one, I didn't put cotton on because we don't want to close that point because that's actually clearing some stuff out. Mm. Okay. So I'm going to have you stay here and then to, I'm going to give you some ear pellets to put in your ear that will be taped in um, that will continue the effect of the treatment. First, we're going to look for the ideal point and find out exactly where it is. So we're going to use a little device that measures the electromagnetic um, charge of the points on the ear. So it's kind of like a stud finder. It makes a little noise when it finds the point. So we're going to look around here and just scan the area. Up oh, here we are. Okay, so there's the spot right there. Okay, so, and that is the spirit gate point for stress reduction. So we're going to use this little, uh, little pellet. It is gold covered, gold plated. So it has a kind of a, gold has a soft, um, relaxing quality to it that, that helps smooth things out. So we're going to tape that on to this exact spot. And you can keep that on for up to a week and you can even stimulate it if you want like at a stoplight or if you're 
watching TV or something, you can just stimulate that to help induce the um, relaxation effect. Okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So you're all done. You can get up anytime and I'll meet you in the office. Okay, great. All right.